The ghost stories at the Sanderson Center in Brantford began to spread just a few years ago. But the rich history of this theater goes much further back in time. Let's find out how rich the history is. The Sanderson Center is at the heart of Brantford's downtown area. The city of Brantford purchased this building back in 1986 to restore it into a culture center for the community. The city chose to rename it from the Capitol Theater to its current name, the Sanderson Center for the Performing Arts. Glenn Brown is the current manager at the Sanderson Center, and he explains the transformation of the theater throughout the years. It started out in 1919 as a vaudeville theater. It was the, the grand theater for Brantford at the time. Uh, one of four theaters at that time. And then it uh, turned into a movie theater in the 20s as uh, vaudeville died out and was uh, operating as strictly movies for almost 60 years before uh, the city purchased it and turned it back into a performing arts center in 86. Though the theater has been in use since 1919, the first paranormal sighting didn't come about until 2008. A stagehand who was running the lighting for a show alone in the lighting booth said that he heard a table crash in the next room and that a vacant chair was thrown across the room he was in. I'm up here uh, in the very bowels of this theater. I'm actually on top of the roof of the theater, so if you were to ask me where the creepy stuff happens, it would be here. I mean, just look at this place, it's crazy. So I actually had my graduation ceremony in this theater, but I never thought I'd get to see the theater like this. We're above the ceiling the big, beautiful, like, tapestry ceiling, a little dusty, and most of all, it's real creepy. <laughs> Nathan Mancini was the night shift custodian of the theater. He shared his own paranormal encounters. Uh, personally, I saw, when standing on the stage, I saw some ghostly figures out in the back of the orchestral seating, so... Uh, other than that, you also hear a lot of ghost stories about uh, different parts of the building. I've heard the lower lobby was haunted and I've heard the rehearsal hall was haunted, so. The Sanderson Center, or so it was first named the Temple Theater, was designed by world-famous architect Thomas W. Lamb. The Sanderson Center for the Performing Arts is a proud recipient of the prestigious Theater Preservation Award, presented by the League of Historic American Theaters. The Brantford Paranormal Society has launched a few investigations in the past three years and have recorded some interesting findings. But perhaps the most notable finding happened when a member spotted an elderly man sitting in a chair a few feet away from them. But as they approached the figure, it disappeared. They confirmed that they saw the previous manager sitting in the chair. Clearly, rehearsals aren't the only thing going on behind the stage. Over the past eight years, the Sanderson Center has accumulated a plethora of stories. But only time will tell if more ghostly tales come up in the future. The Sanderson Center has deep roots in Brentford's rich history. And despite its ghostly rumors, hundreds of people still come by to catch a show. Let's watch one.